Gentlemen, tomorrow when you come in, we are going to take a Sudoku challenge. So what you're going to, what's going to happen is you're going to break up into pairs, and you're going to sit next to someone who you want to compete with. Now, what you have to do is you're each going to be given an A version and a B version of a Sudoku game. And what you have to do is you have to complete the puzzle. Now, if you look at this puzzle, there are nine boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Each box contains the numbers one through nine. And you can't repeat the numbers one through nine within those boxes. But you also have to look at the vertical and horizontal rows. So if you look at this row right here in the middle, it's one, five, nine, eight, seven, six, and two. You will notice that three and four are missing. Well, a three or four has to go here, and a three or four has to go here in order to complete that line. Now, if you look in this nine squares, we're looking for the number three and four. However, there is already a three in this square box. So that means you cannot use a three right here. Otherwise, that would repeat. So if you put a three there, notice it won't go there. Ah, and it's red. But if I delete it and put a four, it's black. So that way, that lets me know that that is correct. So in this case, I'm going to put a 3 here. And notice I've completed one line. Now your objective is to complete the entire uh, puzzle. All right, so now once you start filling things in, what I like to do is I like to put, I like to write the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 off to the side. And once I've used all those numbers, I've completed. But look at this row. I'm, I've got 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I'm missing a 1 and a 9. Well, if you notice in this box, there's a 9 right here. So that for, I know that is not a 9. That has to be the 1. That means this is the 9. And it keeps going on and on. Now, as you, as you fill in more, you will see uh, that um, things will start to fall into place. Like, for instance, in this right here, in this square... I have a 1, 3, 4, 5, 8, 9. I am missing a 2, a 6, and a 7. Well, notice there's a 6 in this row right here. So that cannot be a 6. It either has to be a 2 or a 7. Well, if you also notice, there's a 2 right there. So I've already eliminated 6 and 2, so I know that that is going to be a 7. Now, I'm still missing a 2 and a 6. I've got to look at these two boxes here. If you notice, there's a 2 over here in the corner. Well, I know that that can't be the 2, therefore this has to be the 2, and then this has to be the 6. And as you notice, I have already completed one square. As I go down, I'm looking 1, 2, 3. I'm missing a 4 and a 9, okay, because I have a 5, 6, 7, and 8. So I already have a 9 in this box, so I know that that's my 4. Therefore, this, only thing I have left is a 9 in that box. And then if you notice, things start to clear up. Therefore, I know this is a 1 just by process of elimination. Now, over here, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm missing a 5 and an 8. Well, you notice that there's a 8 in this row and a 5 in this row. Therefore, this has to be the 8. This has to be the 5. Now, notice I've already filled in three the three boxes in the middle. So now, all the thing I have to do is I have to start worrying about the rest of it. I can start looking at these boxes like I'm listing number one and number three. Well, there's a three right there, so I know that that has to be a one, and this has to be a three. Notice I've, they're black, so that means they're in the right spot. Now, what happens when you get to this point and you have a lot of these boxes open? Well, I start looking at individual numbers. Let's take, for instance, the number one. If you look, there's a one in this, row, in this uh, column. There's also a 1 in this column. That means I need a 1 somewhere in here. Because I have a 1 in this box, there cannot be a 1 in any of these three. So that means I have to have a 1 in these three. Well, now I start looking horizontally. There's a 1 there, and there's a 1 over here in this row. So I know that this has to be a 1. And by process of elimination, you too can complete this task.